So a question from at MJJK2. Why do you think we and other Kent clubs haven't been targeted for possible investment like we see others? Huge potential? Question mark. Yeah, um, I, I've always found that strange one. Um, I, I, you know, I come here now to, to, to this this ground, and the ground was the ground is is absolutely unbelievable compared to when I was here. Um, you know, and you know there, were, there has been great investment. And again, would it be in would it be in such a huge catchment area? You know, and and really the only club in Kent, the only pro club in Kent. You know, um, you know I think there's massive um, potential for investment but I'm sure that people have looked at it and for some reason you know it's not going it's not happening you know but uh, all it needs is is a fan you know who's um, a football fan uh, which is what happens at most of them to uh, to come here and have a look at it and see what it's like and maybe we'll get that you know I think it'd be brilliant because like I say the potential is is there for everyone to see really Okay, next question from at FOM blog. If you had the power to change one rule in football, what rule would you change and why? Hmm. If I had the power to change one rule. I'm not sure it's a, I would change a rule. I just think that the, the physical side of the game has, has been has took out of it. I'm, I see ridiculous um, decisions now um, that in my day, would never have been given a foul or a free kick or whatever. And I just think that, um, I think it spoils it a little bit for the fans because I just remember the fans used to love a bit of um, the, the sight of a, a, I know, a physical battle going on between a couple of players or something like that. And it just doesn't happen now. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm uh, vehemently against the elbowing now because that was part and parcel of the game when I was playing. and. My nose broke nine times and got scars, countless scars on my head, and and I've broke a few and and, and give a few out, you know. Um, but to be fair, it was uh, it was uh, it was only that there was a few really bad ones, like you know that that uh, are higher, how dangerous it could be. Uh, but it had been going on for years. But I still think you know the tackling sometimes is when you make a tackle, free kicks are given so so easily nowadays, you know. So. I think it's not so much a law, it's more that I think referees are more, have been instructed to, to try and stop that part of the game. And for me, it was a big part of the game, you know, and still is. Okay. I've got a question from at Jules JH. I remember you passed me on my FA level two. What advice would you give to up and coming coaches? Uh, gain, gain your qualifications. Every badge that you do teaches you an awful lot. I, so I, still, I regret so much. And I, I, I waited until I was 32 to take my UEFA A license because the things that I learned on there, as a player, you just you just do it, um, you know, you just play and do the things that you do. But a lot of times you don't understand why you're doing them. What the badges teach you is the reasons why and, and what what it's for, what, you know, um, so that when you play, you can and it teaches you how to educate someone else you know how to get your your knowledge and your understanding of the game across the people um, so gain as many of the FA coaching qualifications as you can and that will enhance your skills as a coach to no end okay and finally a question from at Josh Hughes real what do you think of the current dual squad and do you think they deserve to be where they are in the table um, no like I said I, I don't know a massive amount I know, I know a few individuals and I've seen them seen the squad a few times uh, there's some very, very good players, and I, I, I think uh, it's very early doors at the moment. But, um, I do believe they will, they will, they are good enough to, to get themselves out of the, out of the trouble they're in at the moment. But uh, like I said it's very early doors, and I, I think we'll see that. I think over the season that they'll, uh, they'll do okay. Cool. That's great. Okay. Thanks very much. No